So welcome all for those who are watching us live. For those who are watching us uh, on our channel, God bless you so much. And feel much appreciated and feel much recognized at God Revival Altar. So today I want to speak about prophecy. And I will not be shouting so much like in the morning. But I want to empower someone. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to empower someone. So open with me. Where I will start. I will not. Uh, I was not supposed to start with this, but I will start with this. Where uh, Pastor Mwadi has just led. And uh, open with me in Ezekiel chapter number that six. Sorry, that seven. Ezekiel that seven. I'm speaking still speaking about how God speaks to us. How God speaks to our inner voice. And I believe that prophecy is one of the things that God speaks to us. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe that I will be back on prophecy in full force. You know, it's my life. And I have seen that even the devil has known it's my life, Pastor Mwan. <laughs> praise, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the devil is also using it to try me. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. So I will be back in full force in this. Amen. Because I want to release what God gives at the right time. Now, read for us verse number one of that seven. Have your microphone kindly. Verse that seven, chapter verse one of that seven. The hand of God was on me. And then he took me outside in the spirit of the Lord. He set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Now, that's first for me. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. The Lord at this chapter. He is speaking to his man in a prophetic manner. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He is speaking in a prophetic manner. And then the man of God, Ezekiel, and a scare sound of the Lord. Get out. Go to the valleys. Then there is dry bones. He said, the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord. Hey, praise the name of the Lord. Is in the spirit of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord is taking in the spirit. In the what? Spirit. Hey, just a repeat. In the in the spirit of the Lord that the hand of God was laid upon me. Amen. This is a clear evidence that the hand of God is at work. When the hand of God touches someone, the spirit is revived. Amen. I pray that the hand of God touch you today. Amen. When the hand of God touches you, your spirit is revived. The reason why we are not serving God well is because the hand of God is not upon us. Yes. The reason why we are full of judgment among others, the hand of God is not upon us. Sure. So there is a protocol that we start with the hand of God. The Bible says 
that Paul read the hearts of them and the Spirit of God hovered them and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. So the heart of God came upon Ezekiel. And then he started. The Lord David took him to another place. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Verse, read from verse 3. Verse 3, the same way. Akaliabia, one Adamu, Je, Vipa, he has so much. Akaliabia, the Bible says in English, Akili, he said to me. So the Lord is still speaking. Amen. Amen. So in this manner, the Lord is still. Ah, I'm okay. The Lord is still speaking. So, the man of God is still reasoning. So, there is reasoning skills and speaking. But now he is silent, listening. Then God is the one who is speaking. Then I prophesy to you starting today and starting this moment. And when the Lord is speaking, no other man will speak. Yes. When the Lord will speak, I don't know if he has spoken, but when he will speak on your life, no man will speak. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When the Lord will be speaking, no man will speak. If the Lord will speak about your blessing, Yes. No man will speak a curse upon you. Amen. Amen. If the Lord will speak the blessing in this church, oh, yes. no man is mandated Amen. to speak a curse in our life. Amen. Or in the church. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But we have come into a stage when, whereby men like Nikamu Alifika Hata Jungu Shidako. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But this is not literature. This is not a life protocol. It's upon God speaking. Now, the Lord is speaking to you. Listen. The right English literature is that when someone is speaking to you, just listen. When he finish, then start. But if you are the kind of a person when you are speaking on listening skills, praise the name of the Lord. So, essentially, come and come and come and So, God is still speaking. Now, I can't be a baby. I can't be a baby. Aha. What I do? Mm. Jay, before I hear a wish, not be a jingle. The boy, I'm going to do a baby. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, verse 4. Akaliyabia tena. Then he said again. Tuauna bi juu ya mamba hii. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now verse 3, he is speaking. Verse 4, he is saying again. Prophesy to these bones. Tabiria him before. So, the Lord is telling the man of God. So, right. there is a protocol that the Lord is using. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord Himself is not prophesying direct to the bones. Aha. Uh -huh. Is
Amen. 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 The Lord is speaking to the man, and then uh, he's anointed man, and then he's the man is speaking to the people. And that's why we have pastors in existence in between our life. It's like I will take longer time than the other time. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The pastors are used as mediators or what to a kukunganisha kamili na mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Why don't you take your sadaka to God? Why do you bring to your pastor? Why? It's because God is using his pastor to speak to his people. Then today I'm used also Amen. to speak to you. Amen. It shall be good. Amen. It shall be well. Amen. Tell the neighbor, it shall be well. Shall be well. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. Despite the challenges, it shall be well. Amen. The tribes are not speaking. They have no life. Yes. But this man is told prophesy. Read verse, verse 7. 7. Basi katoa unabi. Then I prophesy it. Kama alifio ni amuru. Just that. Hey. Kama alifio Just that. Because sawa. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then I prophesy as I was told. The problem with the today prophetic world. You know I'm anointed from in the prophetic world. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The problem with a prophetic world is that we prophet that there are the people who prophesy nothing. Other prophesy because people want the prophecy. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Other people are going to those many places. Pastor Mwadi is one of addicted. One day. He always tell me that there is a day. He used to visit a house here in Gedrai before it was built in this month. And he was going there to be prayed for. A small house. To be prophesied for. But he 